bless you. Most merciful Heavenly Father, I come before you humbly, Lord, and I beg and I plead, Lord, that you give me the courage, the will, the words, the wisdom to speak. And Lord, may they be your words. And may they be your words. In Jesus' mighty, mighty name I pray. Amen. I am just the dust of the earth. And no one is beneath me. And the only thing that's special about me is that I am forgiven. And I am God's dirt. I was I was called to do this work. I was called to be a last day's watchman with dreams and visions. And the Lord has sent me on two missions so far, or two works rather, and now he has sent me on this final mission, this final work for the Lord. These are the last days. Look at the news. They're talking about it on the news, the nightly news, they're talking about it. Famine coming, pestilence coming, war coming, economic collapse coming, and I've been saying this for about seven, eight years now, things are only going to get worse. Well, from seven or eight years ago, had things gotten worse? They have. And time has speeded up. And these calamities, they have speeded up also. And, and the calamities that have come have gotten more and more severe, just like birth pains just like the Bible says. So these birth pains are just gonna keep getting stronger and stronger and coming faster and faster. And now it's in your face. Now the nightly news is talking about it. The things that I was shown, the things that I was shown are now starting to come to pass. I have, I have wept bitterly for the lost because I know, I know, I know what's coming. And in the tribulation, billions will die. Unimaginable pain and suffering. But we don't have to go through that. There is the rapture. And as the days of Noah were, so shall also be the coming of the Son of Man. What that means is Jesus is coming back to rapture his faithful, his remnant, off this earth. And Bobby and I, we pray that you are part of that remnant also. And as things get worse, we need to also ask ourselves, what are we doing for the Lord? What are we doing to be in the will and grace? Are we working for the Lord? Are we doing His will? The Lord put it in my heart to do this. He says, it's time. He put it in my heart, the Azusa Street Mission and Revival. And so that's what I call this new work that I've been sent on. This is a business card. I call it that because it's the size of a business card, but what it is, in effect, it is an invitation. Let me read it to you. Azusa Street, Mission and Revival, Bible Study and Prayer Group. These are the last days. Jesus is coming back soon. More information at www.tonylamb.org. See the back of this card for local meeting info, Acts 2 and 17. And it shall come to pass in the last days, saith God, I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh. So what you do is that I will be sending out a packet of people that want to start a home Bible study or a home prayer group. Actually, they're kind of one and the same. And the Azusa Street Mission, when it, when it started for the longest time, they really didn't even do a sermon. They didn't have music. They just all gathered together and started praying. And miracles 
come about. Mighty miracles, mighty move of God was, was performed. And also at the end of this video, uh, I'll be showing you a yard sign and it'll come with wire stakes. And uh, it'll say almost the same thing as the, uh, the card said, but there'll be a space at the bottom uh, where you can uh, take a, a magic marker, a wide one, and you can write at the bottom contact information for meeting times and days or contact information so that they can contact you for uh, when, when the meetings are and where they are. And, uh, that, and that's coming. Also, I'll be sending, uh, as part of the kit, I'll be sending CDs. And I am in the process of making CDs for those people having those home Bible study groups. And I'll be sending out uh, advanced medical directive badges, several of these in the kit. And I will be sending out books as part of that kit also. I pray that you join me in this, that we will all work together in this. The Lord has commanded me to do everything that I can do in my power to, to put this together, to put this kit together so that you can have a home Bible study. And maybe it's your, just your neighbors, maybe it's your friends from work, maybe it's your family, your friends, anyone and everyone. They're all, they all should be welcome to your Bible study and prayer group. And as in the days of the Azusa Street Mission, there were mighty men that came out of Azusa Street. And almost all of them prophesied that in the last days, Azusa Street Mission and Revival would return. But it wouldn't return to the church. It would return to small groups all across America, and in fact, all across the world. So I am to help and facilitate this Azusa Street mission, the return of it, and also the return of a mighty move of God. I have been told that this will start before the rapture, and it will end after the rapture. So it'll, it'll go into the tribulation, but not long after the tribulation starts, uh, it'll be stopped by the government. So, we need to all be in prayer. We need to all be faithful and true. And I will be starting my own as a street mission and revival and, and prayer group. So, I pray that you join me in this because our days are numbered. The time is short. And we're all going home so. What does it matter? I know there's mockers and scoffers out there that they'll make fun of you, but what does it matter? We're all going home, so what does anything matter? What does anything matter? The only thing that really truly matters right now is being faithful, being in God's very pocket right now, right now. And I pray, I pray sincerely and humbly, I pray that Jesus holds you in his arms just like he held me. And the only way, the only way to escape what's coming upon this earth is to not be here. To not be here. And that means to be raptured. So this work is to get the people, as many as possible, rapture ready. Because that day is coming. That day is coming. You have now, you have the rapture. And those two are coming together very quickly. Very quickly. And when the rapture comes, we the faithful, we will go home to be with Jesus in the clouds forever. Forever. And Bobby and I, we pray that you join us in this mission and join us in this work and that, that you contact us that you're interested in starting a, a home Bible study group or a home uh, prayer group it doesn't have to be many the Bible says where two or more are gathered together in my name there I'll be also and that was Jesus speaking so it doesn't matter the size of the group 
What matters is my faith that you grew. That's what matters. So Bobby and I, we will pray for you and we will do everything humanly possible. And that's why I'm, I put these kits together to send out for people that want to start home Bible study groups, home prayer groups. And actually, it's not either or, it's actually, they're both the same. They're both the same thing. Because just because you have a Bible study group doesn't mean that you don't pray. So they are, they're both one and the same. And because time is so short, we're not calling this a church. We're not, we're not even starting a church. This is, this is, what this is, this is a faith movement. And it's based on my faith and it's based on your faith. That we want to be pleasing to God. Because if we're not pleasing to God, then all is lost. But I pray for you, Bobby and I, we both pray for you, that you be in the will and grace of Jesus Christ, and we will see you on the streets of gold one day very, very soon. And you are all, you are all in our prayers, we pray for each and every one of you, in Jesus' mighty, mighty name. Amen.